Hello knitters, I am here to show you today another stitch that we're adding to the library. Uh, again, uh, at the more uh, knitters that I get out there, knitting Portuguese style, the more questions I get, which it gives me a whole bunch of idea and materials to work with you. So today I had a request to show the half brioche stitch. It's not a true brioche because you only work brioche every other row. I am going to show you the two sides of it. This is the side which is going to be the public side and it is the side that shows that it looks like brioche. And the non-public side, it could be a public side but you know you're not going to work brioche and show what looks like ribbing and that's what the non-public side looks here. It looks like just a plain ribbing pro and knit. Okay? So again, I'm doing this Portuguese style. I am, it's a flat, uh, two rows. It's a pattern with two rows, which is in the description for you. So I'm going to start knitting. And for demonstration purposes, I put a garter stitch border both underneath and on both sides so that the fabric doesn't curl up and I can show you uh, better. My yarn, it's uh, tension around my pin and around uh, my right finger as I show in the Portuguese basics. And I'm not going to go into the detail here. My, the purpose of this video is just to show you this stitch. I am working the garter stitch border, which I always work in the pro stitch, three stitches. And now I'm going to start on row one of the half brioche stitch. We're going to start by slipping one stitch pro-wise and as I do that I put a yarn over on that stitch. Okay? Now I am going to knit one. I'm going to repeat this slowly because I, um, as I do this I already hold the yarn for my next stitch. So again I'm going to slip one pro-wise as I do that, I put a yarn over here, but I hold with my finger in order to bring the yarn up and knit the next stitch. I'm going to show you several times. You slip pro-wise, or me sliding the stitch from left hand needle to the, high, to the right hand needle, as if you pro. Put the yarn over, I hold it, and knit the next stitch. Okay, uh, you can go back, you can start uh, again this video, you can watch it slowly but I'm going to do it again one more time really slow. I put the yarn over and I hold that yarn over on top in order to put the yarn on top and knit the next stitch. So it's pretty much two stitches on this row. Put the yarn over or put the little blanket. If you don't want to hold your yarn, you can slip this as if to pro and just go into the next stitch and knit. As you do that, you already put a yarn over on the pro stitch. See that? I slip pro wise, but the yarn is below the right hand needle. I slip pro wise and then I knit the next, next stitch. And you save a step here. You could do that way too. Slip the pro. The yarn is below the right hand needle. You slip that stitch and knit the next. As you go knit the next stitch, you make a yarn over here. Slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, knit. And you can see that on all the stitches that I slipped, the yarn over is already on top. Now the yarn is below the right hand needle and I'm going to pro the last three stitches. We're going to go to row number two and give myself more yarn here. Turn. I am going to work the three border stitches. Let me just tension. 
pearl one, pearl two, and pearl three. And now I am going to purl the stitches that show or face me as to purl, I'm gonna purl them. And this is what they call a brick knit. You know, it's a brioche knit. You see the knit stitch and the yarn over? You're going to knit them together. Pearl one, knit the stitch and the yarn over together. Pearl one, knit the stitch and the yarn over together. In order to purl, my yarn is below the right hand needle, purl one. In order to knit this and this together, I bring the yarn up, knit together, purl one, bring the yarn up. It's like doing ribbing Portuguese style. Purl one, bring the yarn up, knit it together. Again, it's what they call a brick knit because you are doing the brioche here. You are knitting the stitch and the yarn over together. Pearl one, knit. Pearl one, bring the yarn on top of the right hand needle. Get the knit stitch and the yarn over at the same time. Pearl one, knit. Pearl one, Knit it together, pearl one, knit it together, pearl one. I'm trying to do it slowly so you can see this yarn over is float, floating here. Knit it together, pearl one. The last one, brick knit. End up with my edge of three garter stitch. Okay, and here we are. I am going to do a couple more in the front row to make it clear. One, two, and three. And I'm going to start with the slipping one. And I'm going to make the yarn over. My shortcut, I hope you understand that, is to leave this yarn below the right hand needle. And as I slip and I'm going to knit the next one, I already make a yarn over. Slip, knit. And just a tension here, slip. As I go to knit and leave the yarn here, I make a yarn over by mistake, but in this case, the mistake is to my advantage. Okay? Or you can really slip as if to pro, put the yarn over here, hold it, bring it back and knit. I think it's more, more work. You pick what works for you. So I hope the two uh, rows that involves to make the half brioche stitches uh, clear to you. Again, this is what it looks like. It's, it gives a lot of uh, texture to the stitch and it's kind of squishy. It's really pretty. And I would recommend you just do a hat or a scarf with this to practice really well. And here is the public side and here is the non-public side. Uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, you know how to reach me. Leave some questions on the comment. Uh, subscribe and also reach to me with uh, ideas. I'm getting a lot of questions and ideas from you. And in this way, I keep producing videos and we keep improving in Portuguese knitting together. Okay, see you next time. <music>